So I want you to create a larger size poster just because it's neater and it costs me the exact same price of print so I might as well take full advantage of that. So here I'm going to go start new project and here's the thing, I've taught Photoshop so many times I, I forget sometimes that I didn't tell you this and I did not tell you this. So at the top here you want to put your name so we'll call it poster one, okay? Like I said, you probably try to do four or five and we'll take the best two. And what I told you to do is use US paper, but I told you to go 17 by 11, okay? And I didn't teach you this here, but 300 DPI, that's a good idea because we're going to print them, okay? And background, I often do transparent, okay? So you may, you can keep it white, but anyways, I, I'll leave that up to you, okay? So I'll click OK, and it'll create the poster. And here's something I also forgot to tell you. If you want to zoom in and out like that, you won't really need to do it in this poster too much. Command plus or control plus, control minus, okay? So here's your gradient. A lot of people ask me, where's the gradient? I don't know how to create my gradient. Well, the thing is the first step is to create your gradient. So you select this tool and I show you how to do it in the video. You just add your colors in here, like brown is awful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. Like, where is he? We're gonna go with these four here. It's pretty neat. I'll go with that. It's just nicer, nicer colors. And remember, I said a while ago, like, pick. Don't assume just because you create that gradient that it's nice. Like sometimes, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, uh, Shift key, boom, there's a gradient. Now here's what I didn't show you that I thought was kind of useful and you might want, because I want you to experiment and try out different things. So I'm going to go Command Z. And if you need more than one uh, back, you go Command Alt Z. Okay, so that way you can go back more than once. Because in Photoshop, you can only do undo once unless you press that extra key. Okay, or you do it manually and click uh, and do it here, edit undo 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 okay so here's what the other I got you notice I, I selected uh, radial at the top see up here I selected and so you got you get this effect instead okay so again maybe I don't like that one so I'll cl try this one so there's different maybe you, you know what I mean command Z there's another one I'd like command Z so that's kind of why I'm saying you're going to have some stuff to experiment with, okay? So, you know, neat, fun. Uh, something we could do is create, I didn't show you this, and that's at the bottom of my video. I, I, but there's a layers panel right here, and you could always create another layer and with the same gradient, and then go down here, lower the opacity. Okay. Wow. So there's all this cool stuff you can do. So opacity here, you know, maybe you want to create another layer. Boom. Okay, so I'll create another layer. Again, we want to stay with the same colors. This is really important, guys, because you already picked your color palette. It's those five colors. So what I suggest is try all common, a lot of cool combinations with those colors and th throw it in the trash at the end if you don't like it. Like, but it, you got to stay with the same colors. So I'm going to try this one here. Again, oh, boom, let's see what that does. And you notice everything underneath is invisible unless I lower the opacity. And maybe I don't like that line, so I probably wouldn't keep that one. Well, that's the fill one. Oopsie, wrong one. Let's go here. So still the line is too, maybe it creates an effect I like. I could also apply a blending mode. Okay, so you can play around with these modes here. These are blending modes, and here is what I recommend. Then you would add your text, okay? So what did I go over in this video? I, told you, I showed you how to create it. I showed you all the different types of gradients. I also showed you opacity and also blending modes. And I'll, this is like experiment. I would say I talk about blending modes with the text, okay? And maybe you want to try it also with the different layers. I'll leave that up to you. And I'll add this video into the, uh, okay, so go ahead, continue with the project.